All right, we are back. It's time to get Liara. Hate these fuckers. Guessing we go in here. Hate those little sniper dudes. They are the worst. So it's good. Citadel, I mean. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Liara to Sony, I presume? Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? 
just need to figure some way that It's a Prothean barrier curtain. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They... Shepard. Clear. How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We blasted through with Of the course. Mind. Please, get me out of here before- Not so fast, Shepard. I am not my mother. I don't even- I don't know why Benezia joined Saren. I don't want if anything- If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously he wants you to help him find it. Damn the straight. conduit, but I don't know... What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Norm of the Airborne and... Aye, aye, Commander. If I die in here, I'll kill him. <laughs> if I die in here, I'll kill him. She didn't notice this. Excellent. Place. Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. Not an option. Kill them. Spare the escort.
not believe her. Saren's looking for the, the conduit. Oh. We have to hurry. Joker! Get aye, aye. I don't even know where this elevator scene like happens. Let's get out of here. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. <laughs> we almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human th But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the Conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard it is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. Where'd you come up with this theory? I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle pa It is difficult to explain to someone else, but I know I'm right. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. 
There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What There evidence? was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into... Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to... Tr no wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Sir. Of course, you are right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Yep. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the conduit, or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, when was the last I... time you ate? Or slept? It Dr. is Trump. probably just mental exhaustion. Coupled with... Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch you through, sure. Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand, Dr. Dan. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liara is on our side. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. All right. Let's go talk with some people around the ship a little bit. Let's see if we got any missions. Always make time for my office. Off the record, this Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction. Sorry, Commander, there's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the. It's funny we finally get out here, and the residents don't even seem impressed by the view, or the dangers. Well, well, you're a romantic. <laughs> yeah, I, maybe I was a romantic in the beginning. I'm not looking for the dream. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temper. Sorry, all day in his uncut. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. There was never any proof of that. My mother was downwind of a transport crash. 
It was before they were here. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetic, a bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero's a long... Anyway, this was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session about stuff that happened. We have to here. depend on each other in common. I understand. You, uh, make a habit of getting this personal with everyone? I'll, uh, but... I didn't mean to make it seem like I was going on there. Shit. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How well do you know the lieutenant? I've never worked with him before. This tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko. What kind of Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. How did hey, you end up serving? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed... I wanted to travel the star. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. No one's talked to Liara. Liara. Commander, you look How much you better. Doing? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed. With I should him. go. Goodbye, Commander. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. I'm just glad we got there. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship, but I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help Don't you worry, stop. Don't worry, Liara. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Tell me about yourself, me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds dangerous. Sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis. T As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. You don't like that? I other suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. That sucks. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. All children rebel against uh -huh. their parents. You share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the... That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by... Sounds like you want to dissect what? me in a lab. No! I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess! How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. I'd like to know more about we the We were the assault. first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council. And we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. Mm -hmm. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about... Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. I don't understand. Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. But it is not an essential element of the Union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits on to our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner? Every after relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long-term. 
Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, union with our own kind is no longer common. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are... I am what is sometimes called a... pure blood. Though no Asari... It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too... ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Maybe she wanted to meet you. You might be right. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. You Asari live for a thousand years. Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We, we do not focus on the inevitable, and even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. All right, let's. We're gonna end it here, but first we're gonna get that joyous, joyous. Okay. I think this video's gone on a little bit long enough. All right. Next time. We'll do some more missions. And maybe talk to more of the Normandy crew. Ta-ta.